Welcome, everybody. I'd like to introduce our speaker, Christian Paul. He's one of the first 500.NET certified developers. And um, I'd like to just let him know. So can actually help you to improve the capability or the quality of your team. What is actually the goal of an iteration? What is the result of an iteration? Because feedback is the holy grail of iterative development. You want to get feedback quick. You want to get it many times. And a bit of management is actually also what we want to do with software development. That is not only a list of things you want to do every iteration, <laughs> you also want your product back up, up to date every iteration. Is the definition of done for the iteration itself or for a story? The next reason to use the definition of done is creating transparency. The definition of done will actually help you to improve your release time. Give you a complete example. And the problem with undone work is that it will pile up every iteration. This undone work is depicted with the orange line. And this undone work is actually going up. And the funny thing is that the difference between the black line and the original green line is actually the delta or the difference between the ideal definition of done and the definition of done that you are using right now in your team. If you're not using a complete definition of done or an ideal definition of done, then actually your burn down charts are important. So let's talk about agility versus quality. But the quality of your team is actually represented by the number of steps you defined in your definition done that you applied and go to the person. Then your product owner also knows what you are doing. So every iteration or every second iteration, just what is convenient, you can say, we're gonna copy or move an item from the ideal definition done to the one in process. And when your in process definition done is extended, you can actually see that your team is growing. Growing in capability, growing in efficiency. 